So let us now have an example about writing the equation of the ellipse in standard and general form. Number one, determine the equation of the ellipse with a center at 0, 0, major axis on y. Length of the major is 6, length of the minor is 2. So in this case, kapag po ang hinahanap natin ay equation, kapag ang hanap ay equation, kailangan po natin ng tatlong bagay. Una, you have, you need the center, value ni A at value ni B. Yan po yung mga kailangan natin sa isang equation. Okay? And of course, ano po yung orientation ng ating major axis? Para malaman mo kung ano ba yung standard form na gagamitin natin. Okay? So, identify po natin yung mga given. Ang center daw po natin ay 0 hapag 0, meaning nasa origin po ang ating center. Major axis on y-axis, length of the major is 6, length of the minor is 2. So, since ang kailangan po natin ay tatlo, which is center, kailangan natin si center, value ni A at value ni B, Meron na tayong center which is 0, 0. Hanapin naman natin yung value ng A natin. So naalala nyo po kanina, sabi doon, ang length daw ng major axis natin ay may formula na 2A. Okay, kung may formula na 2A, ang length ng ating major, meaning itong pong 6 na to ay equal kay 2A. So meaning 2A equals to 6, divide both sides by 2 para makuha po natin yung value ni A. O kaya kahit 6 divided by 2. Na kaya hantihin lang natin sa dalawa para makuha natin po yung A lang. Kasi diba po, yung length ng major, what is center, ito yung major. Okay? Yan po yung major which is vertex to vertex. Mula kay vertex up to the center, yan po yung A. Vertex ulit up to the center, yan din po yung A. So A plus A means 2A. Yan po yung length of the major. Since ang hanap mo lang ay si A, syempre yung A, divide lang po natin siya by 2 para makuha natin yung A na. Okay? So, next is, ano daw yung B natin? Kasi nahanap na po natin yung A, which is 3. And then, hanapin naman natin yung B. Si B naman, makikita natin kay length of the minor, which is equals to 2B. So, we have 2B is equals to 2. Divide both sides by 2. So, we have B equals to 1. So, meron na tayong center, meron ka ng A, meron ka ng B. Okay? Now, ano naman po ang magiging equation na gagamitin natin? Since sabi dito, major axis on y-axis, may sabihin nasa y-axis siya mismo. Kung baga kung ito yung, ito yung y-axis mo, nandito din po mismo yung major coincidental line sila. Hindi lang siya basta parallel, pero nandun siya mismo sa y-axis natin. So, meaning, ang gagamitin po nating equation is yung a squared na nasa ilalim ni y. Okay? Itong a squared ay nasa ilalim ni y. Okay? So, meron na tayong center, merong, which is equals to 0. So, 0 po ito. And then, 0 din to. Ang b natin ay 1, so we have 1 squared. Ang 2 natin, ah, sorry, ang a natin ay 3, so 3 squared po siya. Okay, so simplify lang po natin yung ating equation. So meron tayong x minus 0, so squared over 1 squared means 1, copy operation plus, and then we have y minus 0 squared over 3 squared is 9 equals to 1. Okay? So, simplify lang po natin siya. So, we have x squared over 1 plus y squared over 9 equals to 1. Okay? Pwede na po yan. Or, yung simplify, mas simplify niya ay x squared plus y squared over 9 equals to 1. So, pwede na po to as our standard equation. Okay? So, ito na po yung standard equation natin. Okay? So, gawin naman natin yung general form. So, transform naman natin yung ating standard equation into general form. Okay? So, in ellipse, 
para ma-transform natin siya into general form. Kaya ang tatandaan nyo po, dapat walang naka-expand. I'm sorry, walang naka-parenthesis sa equation. Okay? Dapat po ay walang fraction at dapat ay naka-equal to zero kapag general form. So, since we have x squared plus y squared over 9 equals to 1, kailangan po nating matanggal yung denominator, yung mga, yung denominator na 9, ito naman po ay may over na 1, yung x squared. So, para ma-eliminate natin yan, pwede po natin siyang i-multiply both side of the equation by the LCD. Okay? Ano po ba ang LCD ng 1 and 9? Iisipin nyo po yung LCD ng 1 and 9. So, ang LCD po ay 9. Pwede. Okay, so ang ginagawa po natin saan is LCD divided by denominator and then times the numerator. Both sides. So we have 9 divided by 1 is 9. 9 times x squared is we have x squared. Okay, 9x squared. Happy operation plus 9 divided by 9 is 1. 1 times y squared is y squared na lang. And then equals to 1 times 9 is equal to 1. Okay, and then... 9, lipat natin sa kabila. So, meron tayong 9x squared plus y squared minus 9 equal to 0. So, ito na po yung ating general form. Sorry, general equation. Okay? So, let me teach you another way how to find the, or how to transform standard to general. Okay? So, ano yung other way natin? Other way. Okay, copy natin yung given. We have x squared plus y squared over 9 equals 1. Okay, so ang gagawin po natin is yung cross multiplication. Itong x squared may over 1 po yan. Yung 9 ay multiply mo dito. Yung 1 dito and pag ito. So, po yung una niyang multiply at yung second and this is the third one. So, meron tayo 9 times x squared. So, we have 9x squared. Copy operation, which is plus. 1 times y squared is y squared. And then, equal po natin. Yun yung third. 9 times 1. Ito po yun. So, equals to 9. Next, after nito, tingnan nyo yung equation. So, we have, tingnan nyo po yung numerical coefficients and yung constant. Kung baga, itong 9, diba ito po ay may 1 dyan. 9, 1, and 9. Meron po po ba silang common factor? Yung 9, 1, and 9. Okay? Kung meron, i-divide mo pa po yan. Kung wala, yan na po yun. Okay? Since 1, 1, 9, 9, wala na po yung common factor aside sa 1. So, lipat na po natin yung 9 sa kabilang side. So, meron na tayong 9x squared plus y squared minus 9 equals to 0. So, pareho lang naman po nito dun sa una nating solution. Okay? So, it's up to you kung saan po kayo mas madadalian. Okay? So, next natin is try natin i-graph yung ating uh, mga given. So, paano po natin siya i-graph? Alam naman natin ang major axis is on Y. So, saan po kayo magbibilang ng ating uh, A natin? Okay? Kung gusto nyo malaman yung Yung coordinates ng vertex, bilang lang po tayo ng tatlong units pataas. 1, 2, 3. So, ito po yung coordinates ng vertex natin. And then, bilang ka ulit ng tatlo sa baba. 1, 2, 3. Okay, nandito na po yung isa pa nating vertex. And kung gusto mo naman kuhanin po yung ating coordinates for the co-vertex, bibilang ka naman ng 1 unit kanan kaliwa. So, ito po yung ating co-vertex. And ito po yung isa pa nating covert. Kung gusto mong kuhanin si foci, isosolve po natin siya. Okay? So, ito lang muna ang ating graph. So, i-coconnect nyo lang po. Okay? So, yan po ang itsura ng ating graph. Okay, let's have another example. Example number 2. Determine the equation of the leaves having a foci at negative 1, 2. And... 3, comma 2, and a major axis length of 8. Okay? Graph muna natin para ma-identify natin yung mga parts. Tandaan po natin, once again, if we're looking for the equation, we need the center, value ni A, at value ni B. 
Okay, so graph muna natin. We have negative 1, 2. So negative 1, 2. Nandito po yung cosine natin. And then we have 3, 2. So nandito pa po yung isa nating cosine. Okay. And the major axis daw natin ay may length na 8. So may 8 daw po. So ibig sabihin, through that statement, okay, makukuha natin yung value ng A kasi may major axis length of 8. So we have 2A equals to 8. Divide both sides by 2. So we have A equals to 4. So meron daw po tayong value ng A which is 4. Okay? So center A and B. Meron na tayong A, which is 4. Hanapin natin si center. So, yung center naman natin ay, titignan lang po natin dito sa graph. Identify nyo lang po yung gitna nila. Okay? Kasi di ba po si center is the midpoint of the two foci. Or, sorry, two focus. So, nandito po yung ating center. Okay? So, ano pong coordinates nyan? We have 1, positive 1, comma so, ang center natin is positive 1, tama Okay, and then hanapin naman po natin si, si letter B. So, paano naman natin makuha si letter B? Eh, wala man tayong given for the minor axis. Pero, meron po tayong isa pang given dito. So, mula sa center up to the focus, di ba po yan naman yung ating small c, siya yung focal distance natin. Which is, ilang po yung distance nyan? We have 2. So, ibig sabihin, may A tayo, may C tayo, and may C, C, B. So, gamitin natin yung formula. So, naalala nyo po yung formula natin na A squared equals to B squared plus C squared. So, through this formula, we can find the value of B. Substitute po natin yung value ng A, which is 4. And then, missing yung B, ang C natin ay Lipat natin sa kabila si 2, or kaya i-solve muna natin siya. So, we have 16 equals to B squared plus 4. So, we have 16 minus 4 equals to B squared. So, you have 12 equals to B squared. So, since ang hanap po natin ay B, kunin natin yung square root. Okay. Ito. Okay, pwede na po yung B squared kasi yun naman po yung ilalagay natin sa equation. Okay, pero kung kunin naman natin yung coordinates ng ating cover text, kailangan po natin si B. Okay, so meron tayo dito B is equal to the square root of 12. Okay. So, yan na po. Or pwede naman natin to simplify Pwede rin po siyang maging 2 square root of 3. Kasi po yung 12 ay may factor na 4 and 3. 4 times 3, which is 4 is perfect. So, square root ng 4 is 2. Remain sa loob yung Okay? So, next natin is, ano yung equation na gagamitin? So, makikita nyo po, from focus to focus, ito po yan, ba? Saan po ba siya parallel? Parallel siya ngayon kay x-axis. Okay? Since si focus, ang kasama niya sa major, ba po si vertex, kung naalala nyo, focus and vertex is magkasama sa isang axis, which is the major axis. So, therefore, para, parallel kay x, therefore, yung a squared dapat natin ay nasa ilalim ni x. Okay? So, meron na tayong h, k. Ito po yung h, ito yung k. h natin is 1, k natin is 2, a natin is 4, and then b natin square root of 12. And then, naka-square. Okay? And then, simplify lang po natin yung ating equation. So, meron na tayong x minus 1 squared all over 16 plus y minus 2 squared over 12 equals to 1. So, ito na po yung ating standard equation. Okay? So, transform naman natin tong ating standard na to into general form. Okay? Okay, so pwede po tayo mag-cross multiply or pwede po tayo mag-multiply both side by its LCD. So, depende po sa inyo kung ano po yung gusto nyong gamitin. So, I think in this case, mag-multiply na lang po tayo both side. Okay, multiply lang natin to both side by the LCD. Okay, ano po bang LCD? 
ng ating 16 and 12. So, sa mga nahihirapan na pagkuha, pwede po yung, yung ganyan, di ba? Kung naalala nyo po yung pagkuha ng LCM and GCF, ganun rin po siya. So, for example, 12, meron kang 12, Okay, and 16. Pag sinapin po natin LCM, this common multiple. Yun po yung hinahanap natin dito. Okay? For example, meron ka, ano ba yung 12? So, 12 plus 12, 24. Plus 12 ulit, 36. Plus 12 ulit, 48. Plus 12 ulit, 16. So, 16 naman, 16. 16 plus 16, 32. 32 plus 16 is 48. Okay, so hanapin nyo na po kung meron. Okay? Kung wala, proceed pa po kayo. Since in this case, makikita na natin yung 48 least common multiple. Okay, so therefore, yung LCD niya ay 48. Okay? So, i-divide natin or i-multiply natin both sides by 48. Okay? LCD and LCM, pareho lang po sila ng concept. So, LCD, we use it on a fraction. LCM, we use it on a whole numbers. Okay, para ma-transform natin standard to general, multiply natin both sides by 48. Okay, so we have 48. Divide lang po natin sa 16. So, pang ilan po ba yung 48 kanina kay 16? Di ba pangatlo? So, you have 3 and then times the numerator. Numerator natin is x minus 1 squared. And then plus... 48, again, divided by 12. Pang ilan po yung 48 kanina sa 12, di ba po? Ay pang 4. And then 4 times the numerator, which is y minus 2 squared, equals to 1 times 48 is equal to 48. Okay, so next po natin dito is to expand. Mag-expand muna tayo bago tayo mag-distribute. Di ba sa PEMDA, sabi doon, expand. Parenthesis, exponent, multiplication. So, expand muna natin ito bago tayo mag-distribute. So, expand natin sa x minus 1 squared. Gamit po tayo ng special product. Or you can use the FOIL method kung di pa po kayo gamay sa special product. So, we have, copy natin si 3. Squared the first term. So, we have x squared. 2 times 1 times x. We have minus 2x. Squared the last term, so 1 squared means positive 1. Copy operation, which is plus. Copy 4. And then squared the first term, which is y squared. 2 times 2 times y, so we have minus 4y. Squared the last term, so we have 2 squared, so we have 4. And then equals to 48, or pwede na po natin ipasok si 48, or ilipat si 48 sa left side. Okay, tsaka po tayo mag-de-distribute. So, yung 3 times dito, ayan, distribute mo. Distribute. Okay, ganun din po dito. Okay. So, meron naman tayong 3 times x squared. So, we have 3x squared. 3 times negative 2x. So, we have negative 6x. 3 times 1 is 3. And then, plus, sorry, plus 4 times y squared is 4y squared. 4 times negative 4y is negative 16y. 4 times 4 is 60. Minus 48 equals to 0. Okay? Ang rule natin for the general form in a conic section, unahin po natin yung uh, quadratic term, next yung linear term, next yung constant term, and then equal to 0. So, unahin po natin si 3x squared. And then plus 4y squared minus 6x minus 16y. And then solve lang po natin yung mga constant. So we have 3 plus 16 minus 48 equals to negative 29. And then equal to 0. So ito na po yung magiging general equation natin. Final answer. Okay. So, kung gusto nyo pong gamitin yung other, other way, pwede rin naman po natin siyang gamitin. Pareho lang po na kalalabasan. So, paano? Pakita ko lang po kung paano, kung gusto nyo siyang gamitin yung other way natin. 
Okay, so ang gawin natin is cross multiply. So cross ko na siya agad 12 times the numerator. So you have 12 times x minus 1 squared plus 16 and then y minus 2 squared. And then multiply po natin si 16 at yung 12. 16 times 12, so we have equal to 192. So, kung titignan po natin dyan, 12, 16, and 192, may common factor po yan. Yung least common nila ay si 2. Okay, so high po, high po po natin yan kasi pwede pa siya. So, ang hinahanap po natin dito is yung greatest common factor. So, ano po ba yung greatest common factor nila? So, divide natin lahat by 4, 4, and 4. Okay? So, magkaroon tayo ng 12 divided by 4 is 3x minus 1 squared. 16 divided by 4 is 4y minus 2 squared. And then, 192 divided by 4 is 48. Kung mapapansin nyo, pareho na po ito dun sa unang line natin sa taas. Okay? So, same lang po ng process. Okay? So, hindi ko na po siya i-proceed kasi ito na din po yan. Okay? So, next example natin, number 3. Ay, by the way, kung gusto po natin makuha yung ating coordinates for this example, para makuha natin si vertex, gusto natin kuhanin si vertex. Since ang sabi dito, major axis length of 8, A is 4. So, mula sa center, bibilang lang po tayo ng 4 units. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, nandito po yung vertex. 1, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Nandito po yung isa pa nating vertex. At kung gusto naman natin kuhanin yung ating co-vertex, bibilang naman tayo ng 2 square root of 3 units away from the center. Or square root of 12. I lag, ano lang po natin sa, uh, dito sa decimal. So, we have 3.46. Okay, approximately 3.46. So, bilang lang tayo, 1, 2, 3.46, co-vertex, and 1, 2, 3.46, co-vertex. Okay? So, yan lang po ang ating okay, graph. So, connect lang natin si vertex dun sa co-vertex. Ayan. Ay. Okay, there you are. Okay, so yan po yung tura ng ating graph for this example number 3. Okay, now let's have example number 3. Determine the equation of the ellipse having a center at negative 5, 2, one focus at negative 5, 6, and one vertex at negative 5, 4. So, plot po muna natin yung mga points para ma-identify natin kung ano-ano po yung given. Once again, if we're looking for the equation, we need the center, value ni A, value ni B. Okay? So, may center daw tayo na 5, negative 5, comma 2, negative 5. So, ito po yung negative 5 natin, positive 2. So, andito po yung center. Next is, meron daw tayong isang focus. Isa sa mga focus natin ay negative 5, comma 6. So, negative 5 pa rin, and then comma 6. Nandito daw po ang ating focus. And isa sa mga vertex daw natin ay negative 5, comma, negative 4. Negative 5, comma, negative 4. So, nandito po yung isa nating vertex. Okay? So, mapapansin mo, makikita natin agad yung orientation ng ating ellipse. Kasi, vertex, focus, and center ay nasa isang linya. Okay? Kung, kung i-connect, connect mo po yan, ano po yung kanyang orientation? Di ba po? Naka-vertical position. So, kapag naka-vertical position, parallel kay y, therefore, yung equation na gagamitin natin is yung a squared na nasa ilalim ni y. Okay? So, ang kailangan po natin dito is yung mga, okay, meron na tayong center. Okay na tayo kay center. Yung negative 5, comma 2 value ni A na lang at value ni B. So, paano natin makuha yung value ni A? Remember, kapag si A po ang ating variable, makukuha natin yung kanyang uh, coordinates 
using A, coordinates ni vertex. Si B naman, coordinates ng co-vertex. Pero dito, ang given po natin ay focus at si vertex. So, kung wala kayong center up to the focus ang given mo, yan po yung ating small c, si focal distance. So, bilangin mo lang 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, you have 4 units for the c. And mula naman sa center up to the vertex, yan naman po yung variable a natin. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units. Okay, so solve lang po natin para makuha natin si B kasi si B po ang ating kailangan. So formula natin is we have A squared is equals to B squared plus C squared. A natin is C, so we have 6 squared, missing yung B squared. And then plus sa C is 4 squared naman. So you have 36 is equals to B squared plus 16. So, you have 36 minus 16 equals to B squared. So, 36 minus 16 is equals to 20 B squared. So, ang kailangan po natin dito ay, pwede na lang po yung 20. Okay, pero kung hanap mo ay yung B, syempre kukunin po natin yung square root. Okay, ayan. So, ang magiging B natin dito ay equal to the square root of 20. O kaya, pwede nyo pa po yung isimplify kasi di ba po yung 4 and 5 are the factors of 20, which is 4 is perfect, square root ng 4 is 2. So, we have uh, 2 square root of 5. Ito po yung ating B. Okay, so meron na tayong A. Ang A po natin ay 6, ang B po natin ay square root of 20. Okay, so substitute lang po natin sa ating equation. So, ang ating center is negative 5CH. Yung K natin ay 2. And then, ang B natin ay square root of 20. And then, ang A natin ay 6. Okay, so simplify lang po natin yung ating equation. So, you have X plus 5. Magiging plus na po siya kasi minus negative. So, ito pong minus, magiging plus na po ito, and then positive. Kaya siya x plus 5 na po. And then, over 20 na lang, kasi cancel na po ito, tsaka ito. And then, plus y minus 2 squared over 6 squared is 36 equals 1. Okay, so ito na po yung ating standard equation. For this example. Okay? So, ngayon, transform naman natin. Standard naman to general. Standard equation to general form. Okay? So, ngayon, kukunin natin kung ano ba ang LCD nito. Again, pwede nyo pong i-cross multiply or pwede natin i-multiply by the LCD. Okay? So, ang gagawin ko po, multiply na lang po natin to by the LCD of 20 and 36. So, isipin nyo po, ano po yung LCD ng 20 at 36. So, the LCD is 180. LCD. Okay, 180. Okay, so let's have... 180 divided by 20, and then times the numerator, x plus 5 squared. So, 180 divided by 20 is equal to 9. Okay, 9, and then copy natin the numerator, we have x plus 5 squared. Copy plus, and then we have 180 divided by 36, and then times the numerator, so we have 5. Okay, 5 times y minus 2 squared is equal to 180. Okay? And then again, mag-expand mo po muna tayo. We have 9x squared plus 5 times 2 times x is 10x. 5 times 5, 5 squared is 25. And then y minus 2 squared is y squared 
Okay, negative 2 times 2 times y is negative 4y. 2 squared is equals to 4. And then minus 180 equals to 0. Okay? Then saka po tayo mag-distribute. Okay, once again, ang gagawin po natin, expand. And then expand din natin to. And then distribute. Okay, so ang magiging sagot natin dito ay 9 times x squared is 9x squared plus 9 times x is 90x and then 9 times 25 is equals to 225 plus 5 times y squared is 5y squared 5 times negative 4y is negative 20y plus 20 minus 180 equal to 0. Okay, once again, ang general form natin na pattern ay quadratic linear constant 0. Okay, so we have 9x squared plus 5y squared and then plus 90x minus 20y and then we have 225 my plus 20 minus 180 so we have equals to positive 65 and then equal to 0 so ito na po yung ating general equation for this example okay once again this is the general equation okay ito namang sa taas yung standard okay okay let's have another example example number four determine the equation of the ellipse having a center of zero comma three zero comma positive ah, sorry zero comma negative three so nandito po ang ating center Endpoints of the minor axis is 5 comma negative 3, positive 5 comma negative 3. So, nandito po yung endpoints ni minor or yung tinatawag nating co-vertices. Okay? And then, ang C daw natin ay 12 units. So, meron tayong given na C which is 12. So, tingnan natin kung ano anong mga pwede nating makuha from our given. So, again, lista natin ang kailangan. We need the center, value ni A, value ni B. Meron na tayong center, which is 0, negative 3. And then, ang A natin ay missing kasi wala po tayong pang major axis. Pero meron po tayong endpoints of the minor, which, which will give us the variable B. So, bilangin lang po natin yung pagitan ni center up to the covertex. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Meron po tayong 5 units na pagitan. So, ang B natin ay equal to 5. E meron daw po tayong C na equal to 12. So, pwede po natin siyang magamit para mahanap natin si A. Okay? So, may formula po tayo dito na A squared equals to B squared plus C squared. So, we have B natin ay 5. So, 5 squared. Ang C natin ay 12. So, 12 squared. So, we have a squared is equals to 25 plus 144. Okay? So, add lang po natin. So, yung ating 144 plus 25 is equals to 169. So, a squared na po yan. So, kung gusto natin hanapin yung a, so, kunin lang po natin yung square root ni 169. So, that is equal to 13. Okay? So, meron na tayong a na 13. Okay? So, may center, may A, may B ka na. Ngayon, ano kaya ang orientation ng ating ellipse? So, kung makikita nyo po, ang ating center to cover text ay naka horizontal position. So, di ba po, lagi silang magka, magka perpendicular. So, meaning, naka horizontal position naman ang ating orientation to major. So, mix sabihin, ang A natin dapat ay nasa ilalim ni Y. Okay? 
So, substitute lang po natin yung mga given. So, ang H natin dito ay 0. Ang K natin ay negative 3. So, 0, negative 3. Ang B natin ay 5. 5 na naka-squared. And then, ang A natin is 13. Dapat i-squared din natin siya. Doon ang kailangan natin sa equation. So, simplify lang po natin. We have X minus 0 squared over 25 plus y plus 3 na po siya kasi magiging plus positive na po ito plus and positive kaya y plus 3 na okay so we have over okay yung a natin ay 13 squared so we have 169 and then equal to 1 okay so next natin simplify so ito po sing x minus 0 pwede siyang as x squared over 25 plus y plus 3 squared over 169 equals to 1. So, ito na po yung ating standard equation. Standard equation. Okay, next naman natin is to transform this standard equation into general. Okay, mag-transform naman daw tayo ng standard equation to general form. Okay? So, ang gawin natin, may common factor po ba ang 25 and 169? What do you think? By looking at the numbers, I think wala. Kasi 5 na po to, no? Yung isa is 169. So, wala po silang common factor. Kapag wala pong mga common factor, pwede tayong gumamit ng cross multiplication. Okay? Ito po yung first, second, third. Okay? So, using that, we have 169 times the x squared. So, 9. So, yan na po yan, x squared. And then, plus 25 times y plus 3 squared. And then, equals to, multiply lang po natin si 25 and 169. Okay? So, magkakaroon tayo ng 4,225. Okay? So, expand natin. Ito lang pong i-expand natin dyan kasi okay na po itong 169x squared kasi naka-zero naman po yung x natin. And then, 25 y squared. 3 times 2 times y, so we have positive 3y. 3 squared is 9. And then lipat natin, minus 4, 2, 2, 5 equals to 0. Okay? So, once again, nag-expand mo muna tayo. Tsaka tayo mag-distribute. Okay? So, 169 x squared plus 25 y squared plus 75y plus 225 minus 4225 equals to 0. Okay, so next po nyan, tandaan natin ang ating pattern for our general. Lagi pong una ang quadratic term followed by the linear and then followed by the constant. And then of course equal po kay 0. So, we have 169x squared plus 25y squared plus 75y. Una, next natin yung linear. And then, 2 to 5 minus 4 to 2 to 5. So, we have minus 4,000 equals to 0. So, ito na po yung ating general form. Okay. General equation. Other example. Determine the equation of the ellipse having a centricity value 4 over 5 and foci 8 comma 4 and negative 8 comma 4. So, in this case, meron daw tayong eccentricity value, which is E equals to 4 over 5. Diba kanina, ang eccentricity value natin ay may ratio na C over E. Okay? And ang foci daw natin is 8 comma 4. So, 8 comma 4. 
and negative 8, tama, 4. Okay, so meaning, para makuha natin ang equation, once again, we need center, value ni A, value ni B. Okay, center, value ng A, value ng B. So, ang center natin, meron na tayong center. Makukuha natin si center by locating the midpoint of our two focus. So, nandito po ang ating center. Okay, sino yan? Basahin nyo lang po. We have 0, 4. Okay? And, next naman natin dito ay, napin natin si A tsaka si B. Diba po, mula kay, mula kay center up to the focus, kung bibilangin po natin yan, ang makukuha natin dito ay yung ating C, small c. So, that is 8 units. Eh, sabi dito sa eccentricity value, meron ka daw 4 over 5. So, therefore, yung 4 over 5, naka-lowest term na po kasi siya. So, ang original natin na C ay equal to 8. So, ano kaya ang A natin? Okay? Since naka-lowest term na tong 5, meaning ito po ay 10. Bakit 10? Kasi, di ba, 8. Pag ni-lowest term mo si 8 over 10, di ba, yan po ay 4 over 5. Kung baga, 8 divided by 2, we have 4. 10 divided by 2, we have 5. So, para makuha mo yung 10, 5 times 2. So, you have 10. 4 times 2 is 8. Okay? So, ibig sabihin po, para makuha ang A natin, ay magiging 10. Okay? A natin ay 10. B natin ay 8. Ay, sorry. Wala pa po sa tayong, wala pa pala tayong B. Ang given pala natin dito ay si C. So, we have C is equal to 8. So, hanapin natin si B by using our formula. So, you have a squared is equals to b squared plus c squared. So, ang a natin is 10, 10 squared. b natin is missing. Ang c natin ay 8. Okay, so we have 100 is equals to b squared is equals to 64 plus 64. And then, 100 minus 64 is equals to b squared. And then, 100 minus 64 is 36. So, ang B natin ay equal to 6. Okay? So, meron na tayong B which is equals to 6. So, therefore, makukuha na po natin ang ating standard equation. So, paano natin malalaman yung standard? Kung tingnan nyo po yung orientation ng focus to focus mo. Kasi, di ba, from focus to focus, may kita din po natin ang, ang orientation ng ellipse natin. Okay, ibig sabihin, yung major axis po natin ay parallel kay x-axis. Therefore, ang a squared dapat natin sa standard form ay nasa ilalim ni x. Okay, so h natin ay 0, k natin ay 4, a natin is 10, b natin ay 6. Okay, so simplify lang po natin yung equation. So we have x minus 0 means x squared na po yan over 100. Plus y minus 4 squared over 36 equals to 1. So, ito na po yung ating standard equation. Okay? So, kunin naman natin, syempre, yung ating general form. Okay. So, ngayon, may common factor po ba yung 136? Sa so, tingin nyo, meron po bang common factor ang ating 136? Okay, so meron, di ba? So, kung meron, multiply na lang po natin ito. Huwag na tayong gumamit nung, okay, nung cross multiply. Pwede rin po kayong gumamit nun, kaso imang divide pa po kayo sa common factor nila. Okay? So, ano po kaya ang LCD na gagamitin natin dito? 136. Ang LCD natin ay 900. So, 900 divided by 100 times the numerator. So, meron po tayong 9x squared. Copy operation plus. And then, 900 divided by 36 is equals to 25 times the numerator y minus 4 squared is equals to 900. Okay, once again, expand muna natin yung naka-parenthesis. So, we have 9x squared plus copy 25. 
squared the first term, 4 times 2 is negative 8y. 4 squared is 16. Minus 900 equals to 0. Okay, once again, ang ginawa po natin ay nag-expand. Muna, saka tayo mag-distribute. Okay, so meron tayong 9x squared plus 25y squared. And then we have 25 times negative 8. So we have negative 200y. And then times 25 times 16. So plus 400. And then minus 900 equals to 0. Okay, so ang gagawin po natin, arrange lang natin. So we have 9x squared plus 25y squared minus 200y and then minus 500 equals to 0. Okay, so ito na po yung ating general equation. Okay. So, that's how we find the standard and general equation given itong mga following conditions natin. Okay, first example, dito naman, papakita natin kung paano mag-transform ng general equation to standard naman po. Okay, una, ang gagawin natin, lipat natin yung constant. So, meron po tayong, copy muna natin, 4x squared. Sama na po natin yung yung negative 40x, so negative 40x sa side na yan. And then, plus 9y squared, followed by minus 54y equals to 145. Okay, so kung naalala niyo po, kay circle, di ba mag, pag magta-transform tayo ng general to, to standard, nagko-completing the square po tayo. So, ang i-complete the square natin ay ito. Ayan. So, kung ilan yung i-complete natin, yun din po yung bilang ng constant na i-add natin sa kabilang side. Okay? But before that, titingnan po natin yung given. So, ito po ay may numerical coefficient, yung x squared. Ganon din po kay y squared. So, factor muna natin. Factor out natin yung 4 sa una. Okay? And factor out naman natin yung 9 sa kapila. Okay? So, magkakaroon po tayo dito ng... Okay, medyo man laki yung space. Okay? So, 4x squared divided by 4. So, x squared na lang. And then, 40 divided by 4 is 10. So, 10x. And then, we have... 9y squared divided by 9 is y squared. Negative 54y divided by 9. So we have minus 6y. And then equals to 145. Okay, plus blank, plus blank. Okay, by the way, this is negative kasi positive pala po siya. Okay, so next natin is tsaka tayo magkukumpleting the square. So kumbaga, meron kang 4 times x squared minus 10x plus something, and then 9 times y squared minus 6y plus something equals to negative 145 plus blank plus blank. Okay? So, ano po yung ipang pa plus natin? So, meron po tayong formula. We have b. Nalala niyo po yung formula natin na b over 2 squared. Okay? Ito po yung b natin, c, negative 10. Divide natin sa 2 and then squared. So, meron po tayo dito negative 5 squared. So, we have 25. So, add tayo ng 25 dito. And then, sorry, sa kabilang side, mag-add din tayo ng uh, hindi lang basta 25 but kasama po yung 4 na nasa front. etong 4. Okay? So, mag-add tayo dito ng 4 times 25. Okay, kasama po yung ating 4. So, this is 4 times 25. Okay, next naman is we have negative 6 over 2 and then squared. So, we have negative 3 squared 
So, we have 9. So, add tayo dito ng 9. Pero sa kabila, ang i-add po natin ay 9 times 9. Okay? So, yan po ang completing the square natin. Kapag yung numerical coefficient ng mga quadratic term natin ay more than 1. Okay? Or hindi na po 1 yung numerical coefficient. Okay? So, next po natin, syempre, if a factor na natin yung naka-parenthesis. So, we have 4 times. Ano po bang factor nitong nasa loob na to? Yung x squared minus 10x plus 25. Ano po yung tinuro ko sa inyo last time? So, itong, itong negative 5 na naka-squared na yan, lalagyan mo lang po yan ng variable x sa harap kasi galing po siya dun sa x squared. So, ito na po yung factor na. And then, factor po nung y squared minus 6y plus 9. Okay, copy natin yung 9. And then, we have y minus 3 squared. And then, of course, isi-simplify lang po natin itong uh, mga constant natin. So, we have negative 145 plus 4 times 25 plus 9 times 10. So, that is equals to 36. Okay? So, after po nito, hindi pa po yan naka-standard kasi dapat naka-fraction po kung naalala nyo. So, kapag fraction, kailangan, okay, kailangan po ay imumultiply pa po natin to by 36. Bakit 36? Kung, kung babalikan natin yung general rule natin for the ellipse, dapat daw po yung standard equation natin ay naka-equal to 1. Kumbaga, ito daw po ay dapat equal to 1. So, for us to have equal 1, so, kailangan natin i-divide yan lahat by 36. Okay? Para maging 1 po itong dulo. Okay? So, so, ang magiging final answer natin as for the standard equation, okay, magiging x minus 5 squared over Divide lang po natin or i-lower term po natin yung 4 and 36. So, magiging 9 and then plus y minus 3 squared. Lower term po natin si 9 and 36. The answer is 4 and then equal to 1. Okay? O kaya, 36 divided by 4, the answer is 9. Lagay mo po sa denominator kasi mas mataas po yung 36. 36 divided by 9 is equals to 4. Lagay mo yung 4 sa denominator kasi mas mataas po yung 36. And 36 divided by 36 is equals to 1. So, ito na po yung ating standard equation. Okay, so that's how we reduce okay, ang, ang general to standard. Magamit po tayo ng completing the square. Okay, so kung gusto naman nating malaman yung value ni A, B, and C, or yung center, kunwari gusto mong malaman si center, anong center niyan? So, ito yan. So, 5, ito po yung H, ito yung K. So, we have 5, comma, positive 3. Ang A naman natin, since A, naka 9 po ito, di ba po sa equation, naka A squared siya. So, ang A squared natin is equals to 9. Kung gusto mong kuhanin yung A, square root lang po natin. So, we have A is equals to 3. And kung gusto mo lang kunin yung b, so yung b squared natin ay equal to 4. Kunin mo lang yung square root ng b squared. So we have b equals to 2. Okay? So since ang highest denominator natin ay nasa ilalim ni x, which is si 9, nasa ilalim ni x, ang orientation natin dito ay naka-parallel to the x-axis. Okay? So kung igagraph natin sa center, we have positive 5, positive 3. So nandito po yung center. Then, bibilang naman tayo ng tatlong units kanan-kaliwa. Bakit kanan-kaliwa? Kasi po yung ating a squared ay nasa ilalim ni x. Therefore, ang orientation ng ating ellipse ay naka-parallel to the x-axis. 1, 2, 3. Ito po yung vertex. 1, 2, 3. Nandito po yung vertex. And for the b, 2 units lang daw. So, bilang tayo ng 2 units up and down. 1, 2, nandito po yung covertex. 1, 2, nandito po yung isa nating covertex. Okay, so that's how we graph our equation. Okay? Ayan. Okay, so that's the end of the discussion for this video.
Okay, next naman natin is to find the properties of the ideas. 